Hi viewers, today we will review this uh, LED projector alarm clock with radio. Uh, on the top uh, we have this sensor LDR sensor for auto dimming uh, and these are the remaining buttons uh, volume alarm radio projector on off snooze and bright and, uh, and this is a screen that uh, acts as a mirror in off condition uh, so and this is the, uh, this is the bottom flat part that can be removed by unscrewing these two screws at the back we have at the bottom left corner these vents are for temperature and humidity sensors uh, beside that radio aerial wire antenna in the middle we have an 8 ohms 2 watt speaker below it is the ESP port for power output delivery you can charge your mobiles and anything which outputs 5 volts DC beside that is a DC jack uh, and next to it we have a backup button cell battery for to store the time settings below it uh, we have a hole for the buzzer uh, better they put some kind of vent rather than a hole at first i thought it was in a reset pin kind of thing uh, this is the projector module which can be rotated uh, uh, this is the front display uh, here display technology is simple white right? smled lights channel through these segments of digits uh, as you can see normally all LEDs are on and see the light is channeled through these segment slots which form the digits uh, this, uh, this is the this is the projector module uh, it has a it has a bright LED behind this tiny LCD screen, which projects the time 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 only time. You will not get any of the additional information. Only time will be projected, and uh, along with the time, it will display AM or PM. Nothing else. Only time will be displayed. Uh, this is close up of the projector. Uh, this is the button to turn on of the projector that bulb icon uh, see you can see the right LED red LED So this is the LCD. Uh, as you can see, the digits. Uh, the backlight here is in a red LED that passes through this LCD and uh, project through that through the projector lens and will and the and we'll get the time. Uh, let us see this. Uh, see, as you can see, the digits that are visible without any backlight. This is how they look without any backlight. So you can see that time. Only time will be displayed as I told. No, no, no other information will be projected. So this is the PCB for the projector module. As as you can see underneath the PCB, you can see the LED light. And these these are the lens. Uh, now we'll. See look inside the PCB and this is the on the top left we have the buzzer uh, and the PC and the timer settings backup timer setting backup battery slot uh, here the capacitors uh, this is the DC connector as you can see there is a C32 like, uh, symbol printed on the PC but there is no capacitor here I am not sure why it was 
whereas the remaining we can see the capacitor in the remaining places of the PCP we can see the capacitors here see there is an in, there is a printed symbol for the capacitor C32 but there is no capacitor so I am not sure why it was not there uh, so this is the power connection it written as DC 5 volts left it is a buzzer and below it is the uh, C32 capacitor so that's what that's what I'm talking about see on the left we have two more capacitors where it was printed um, Above it, we have that USB port, which I am talking with. I am talking about it earlier. It will deliver output. This DC 5 volts is passed through this USB port, so you can charge any USB devices through this. And this is the speaker. Uh, 8 watt, 2 watt, uh, 8 amps, 2 watts. Mm. This is the speaker connection. Uh, beside that we can see the two sensor for the temperature and humidity on the top we have humidity this one and the below it we have temperature sensor in my testing I found that the sensor is taking some time to detect the temperature changes so it was not as quick in detection so these, these are the two sensors humidity and temperature uh, this is the other side of the PCB that has our LEDs that form the display uh, on the this is the on the top this is the LDR for auto dimming and all the top we have the, all the switches and all these are SML LEDs all are white SML LEDs that form the segmented display uh, this is main controller I see something which has nothing on printed on it blank no information and this is the radio chip uh, this unfortunately this chip supports stereo but the only we have only single paper they, they could have added at least a USB sorry to 3.5 mm jack so that we can get in stereo or so put this is the temperature sensor mm. so see uh, you can see all the SML LEDs, white SML LEDs now this is the blank no information printed on this IC uh, this is the radio IC stereo, radio IC, aerial uh, this is the USB I am talking about uh, as you can see it outputting 5 volts so you can charge any devices that works on 5 volts DC so you can put them like in any mobiles for charging so we can charge <coughs> USB devices through this port so it will deliver power output it's not like playback kind of thing it's only for charging your USB devices uh, so this is the front we have we here uh, uh, in this here we have uh, we have two alarm functions you can set two different alarms in two different times uh, so this is at right, present I am showing this alarm 1 with the one in bell, bell symbol in with the one in and have, we have another alarm also you can set two alarms functions so right now this this 0 5 is for snooze this is for snooze and B is for buzzer and uh, RT for radio you can set the alarm event as radio or the buzzer uh, let uh, let's see how the buzzer sounds like this is how it sounds like it sounds like a finder buzzer like you use in FPV drones not like a normal timepiece buzzer ok 
okay thanks for watching my video please subscribe for more videos